Farmers in southeast Alabama say they don't think they'll ever recover from Hurricane Michael. Welcome back. I'm Mary Stackhouse. Damage estimates in Florida alone stand at $12 billion. And even in South Alabama, State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson found that many farmers lost millions in crops during the storm. Farmers in the wiregrass say this was supposed to be a good crop year, but instead Hurricane Michael changed that, making it one of the worst for farmers. JP Kelly's farm took a 60% hit after Hurricane Michael. The storm really, really put a, a um, took a toll on the cotton. A large part of Kelly's farm is cotton. Here's what's left of it. We've had about a two week rain event, which is going to really degrade the cotton that we have left on the stalk. Chris Balkum with the Wiregrass Research and Extension Center says the hardest hit areas for crops were cotton, peanuts, and timber. Number one, the farmers, uh, they're very resilient anyway. And uh, what they wanted to do was hurry up and get back in that field and, and get, get harvested what was left. Friday, Sonny Purdue, Secretary of Agriculture, was in the Wiregrass getting a first-hand look at the damage. We've got an unusual situation here in the south in the corner here between Alabama and Georgia and Florida, a lot of pine tree damage. That's not a typical crop that's damaged in this sort of way. All right, now let's turn to meteorologist Jordan Dressman for a look at the weather. Jordan, a little bit warmer today. Yeah, and we're still talking about college football. This trend is going to